LAS Vegas, it was, in some ways, the definition of pointless, a basketball practice held in a swelter of a 44-seed July Day for a United States national team that won't next play a meaningful game for more than a year. And yet given that DeMar DeRozan was in attendance, let's just say the post-practice media scrum on the first day of USA Basketball's largely inconsequential mini-camp was a little more emotionally charged than the blasé circumstances might have otherwise dictated. Sure, a little more than a week had passed since DeRozan was shipped from Toronto to San Antonio in the most ambitious transaction in Raptors history. And sure, DeRozan insisted that he'd already moved on, now that he'd vented his frustrations on Instagram and on ESPN. But his use of the past tense, to this year, sounded premature. For the 13 minutes DeRozan spent fielding questions from reporters at UNLV's Mendenhall Center on Thursday, after all, he sounded like a man still very much wrestling with the process of moving on from the only pro basketball home he's ever known. With former Raptors teammate in the background, DeMar DeRozan listens as U.S. Coach Greg Popovich, also his new NBA coach after a trade to the Spurs, holds court at training camp in Vegas on Thursday. John Locker, AP, he sounded like a player who's going to deeply miss the country in which he spent his first nine seasons as an NBA. -er. I don't know another way I can thank the fans in Toronto. Not even Toronto, Canada, just Canada, period, DeRozan said Thursday. You really don't realize something until it's really taken away. And I really realize that. I always said it when I was there, they were some great fans. But they're some great effin' fans, period. Like, seriously, as deep as his connection to the faithful figures to remain, and there'll be a Bay Street Jersey retirement ceremony in his future, for sure, it's safe to say his feelings for Toronto's current management group aren't as gushworthy. Article continued Bell Outer Ozen was asked if he'd partaken in any conversation with Raptors team president Masai Ujiri since his trading. Read more, I wasn't treated with the respect that I thought I deserved. DeMar DeRozan still upset at Raptors president Masai Ujiri Oakley speaks his mind on DeRozan Leonard trade, loyalty, and Toronto mailbag. Raptors fans still have mixed opinions on Kawhi Leonard answered with an emphatic no. DeRozan was asked if he planned to partake in a future conversation with Ujiri. He barked an even more emphatic no. Article continued Bellow he characterized his relationship with Ujiri, whom he still clearly resents for keeping him out of the loop on trade talks, as done, no reason to have a relationship, DeRozan said. I'm done. It's just done for me, from my end, as for DeRozan's 2018-19 return to Toronto, the date TBA until the NBA schedule is released next month, the four-time All-Star seemed to relish the opportunity for some modicum of revenge. Boston and Philadelphia might be the Raptors' biggest threats to Eastern superiority in the coming season, but you can make the case nobody's going to be as desperate to beat the Raptors as DeRozan and ex-coach Dwayne Casey, the exiles of Ujiri's discontent, it will definitely be a date circled on, the schedule, without a doubt DeRozan said. Not that DeRozan wasn't happy to lay eyes on Raptors guard Kyle Lowry, one of 35 players on the U.S. Roster that'll be cut to more manageable numbers in the lead-up to the 2019 FIBA World Cup of Basketball. Kawhi Leonard, the key piece of the deal that sent DeRozan to Texas, is among the U.S. Roster players who declined to attend minicamp, putting him in the no-show company of LeBron James, Steph Curry and Draymond Green. DeRozan said Lowry, even though he's no longer an NBA teammate, qualified as a welcome sight, just to see one of your closest friends, laugh with him, joke with him, you just get a different feeling. A positive feeling, when you're around a guy like that, that's genuinely, genuinely a friend, said DeRozan, who, just like old times, helpfully ran the interference that allowed Lowry to avoid speaking to reporters. I mean, it was a rough week. It was extremely hard, but Tuesday, my reason of what I did by venting on social media was that to speak out for myself and leave my words out there and move on, one day soon, this business of moving on will happen. As it is, on Thursday DeRozan was asked if he feels like a spur, not fully yet, but eventually I will, he said. I haven't been out there. 
Once I get out there and get acclimated, I'll definitely start to feel it. Even if this week's mini camp isn't taking place in San Antonio, it has Spurs touches. Greg Popovich, the San Antonio coach, is the newly installed head coach of the U.S. team, this after Mike Krzyzewski's swan song at the 2016 Olympics. Popovich spent an outsized amount of time with DeRozan during Thursday's hour-plus workout. And though the coach refused to answer a question about coaching the ex-Raptor, boorishly insisting he'd only speak on topics related to USA basketball, as if DeRozan isn't a longtime member of the U.S. National team, DeRozan spoke glowingly about the opportunity he's been afforded by the trade, it means everything, to play for Popovich in San Antonio, he said. I could have ended up in the middle of nowhere with Joe Blow, and I ended in a great place that wanted me that strives for greatness. You can't ask for nothing better than that. Not that he's preparing to send Ujiri a thank you note for orchestrating the transaction, I mean, I'm grateful. I said when I signed my extension, I expressed me being grateful to Ujiri. I'd never take that away from anybody, DeRozan said. But with that, one thing can tarnish that all. That's how I am. It's like if I tell you I'm your friend, but when everybody else comes around I do something in front of everybody that makes you feel some type of way, you're going to look at me like I wasn't your friend. Everything before that's not even going to matter. It's time to move on, and I'm moving on, moving on, sure, but still yet to arrive at a place of peace. Dave Fezchuk is a Toronto-based sports columnist. Follow him on Twitter, at DeFezchuk.